Oh, what I guess about we're the character doing, select? I guess we're doing Claire. Yep. Hello, Claire. Have you seen any children and or dead people lately? There's no lake house today, sorry. David's not doing very well. What? He's caused okay. a problem with the girl. I need to do something. Yeah, don't kill the girl, you crazy woman. Okay. What's the problem with the girl? Problem with the girl? Isn't that a song? The little girl, our neighbor at the lake house, she says David is weird and creepy. Doctor! Oh, oh, what the okay. fuck? But I found some of the Jesus referral Christ. lessons we're talking about. There is a pattern, but it's not the same for everyone. He what said to the get them to fuck? Up, so here he goes. Jesus Christ, that fucking went right through me. Hold on a second. Type that. <laughs> type, type that for a <laughs> Hold on for a second. <laughs> oh, God. I looked away for half a second, and that shit happens. Mm. Tell, tell Claire to hold on for a second, please. Just do it. <laughs> oh. Hold on a second, please. I don't know anything about that. Well, she's cool. up herself today. Jeez. Fucking hell. For a little one. Dr. Decker, I refer a client to your clinic for evaluation, Claire Castleford. She is being charged with the murder of her husband, and we require your diagnosis to whether she was of sound mind and had the mens rea required for the crime. Yours so, sincerely, Mrs. Hackett Brown. So, for sound mind. Insanity yeah. or temporary insanity. Okay. Yeah. T uh. Temporary insanity requires both the mens rea and the, uh, that you were in your right mind at the time. Yeah, Temporary yeah, yeah. insanity is one of the hardest defenses to pull off. Dr. Decker, we believe that our client has only given us, who has only given us her first name, Ariana, is mentally unstable and would like your expert opinion on this matter. We are happy to cover all your costs and look forward to receiving your report forthwith. Okay, so just insanity. I am referring yet another client to you today for further psychiatric evaluation. It's my hope that you concur with my suspicions and are able to find him insane under the guidelines set within the Temporary McNaughton rules. Temporary insanity. What are Shit. McNaughton rules? Um, so here's the deal. We're being this letter first. doesn't say... This letter doesn't say who it's for. Yeah. Him. Uh, for him. So who is it for? It's not for so it's not for Bryce. It has to be Nathan. No, it could be Bryce. It could be Nathan. No, because Bryce was already there. One of his original. He wasn't referred. Remember, he just said that. No, no, we haven't asked him that. Have we? Wait, what? Hold on. I was one of Doctor Decker's first patients. I wasn't referred by anyone. Yeah, you're right. It is Nathan. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Sorry, might be. Ah. All right, let's go the back to this. Girl, our neighbor oh, at the wanna... lake house. She says yeah. David is weird and creepy. David, okay. yeah, David, David has been hunting and skinning again, but from the look of the torso, he caught a domestic cat. Oh, I'm being generous. It was definitely a cat. I spoke to David about it, but I have no idea if he can comprehend me or not. He just grunts at me. He doesn't even smile anymore. Not at all. Um, did you get a photo of him, by the way? Oh, yes. Here. Thank you. From a few weeks ago. As you can see, Doctor, he looks perfectly normal. Well, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> no, the he kind of does look perfectly normal. Yeah, but Normal. everything else is out of focus. Yeah, that's a weirdly focused picture. It's almost right. like there was a photo with her in it, and that side of the thing has been photoshopped out. Alright. Oh. I have nothing. No. No. God damn it. How the fuck do you want me to... And now it's saying, check on notes. What the fuck? Fuck you, game. Your question. I don't know. Did you bury David Chesselford? Uh, 
Uh, uh, it's show a David's photo. Yes, that's David Carson. There we oh, go. Shit. I have no idea when it was taken. Shocking composition. Yeah, it's pretty goddamn awful, isn't it? Um, shocking composition? No. Fuck off. Oh, right, there's a fly. There's the no fly in the painting. I think that's what I like about it. The spider has been so intent on spinning its web that it hasn't noticed there'll be nothing to eat. Okay. It's so a was painting a spider of a spider the in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. Pendulum. Pendulum. Pendulum of the grandfather clock. Fine. What does the spider mean to you? The spider from the painting. I'd like to think it was me. Like, I was lying in wait and spinning some elaborate trap in my midnight hour. It's more likely that I'm just the fly. Uh, the hints are out of order. The hints were out of order. Sorry. What? No. Okay. Not giving us any more information for him. So back to Claire. <laughs> Cat. Okay, so. Cool cats. Um, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I left out an important detail. The girl, oh, did you? Anushka. That's a name. She was crying because her cat had gone missing. Uh, and okay. David killed it. Doctor, I'm worried. I'm worried that David's not going to stop the cat. He's killed deer, rabbits, wild birds, and our cat. I'm worried he might add little girls to his list. Hmm. I can't stop him. You could stab him in the heart again. Yeah. Anushka? Anushka? It's I spoke to her name. again. She wouldn't tell me her name, which is quite right. I am a stranger after all. Yeah. So I gave her the name Anushka. She said the man that lives in the lake yeah. house is weird and creepy. Hmm. Little girls? I don't have an answer. Uh, can't stop oh, him. Killing. I can't stop him. I can't control him in any way. At all. Ever since I brought him back from the dead, he has done nothing but ignore me. To be fair. I'm starting to think that. You killed him. Starting to think what? That I need to put David out of his misery. Again? <laughs> that I need to end his suffering. That I need to kill him. Again. <laughs> this is going to be... A weird double jeopardy him? case. Should I kill David? Uh, huh. <laughs> so no. he, well, <laughs> So here's the conundrum, as far as I understand it. According to the police, she already did. So who's she so gonna she, kill? So if she kills him, then she can't be found liable for it because she didn't do it. She already did it. In theory. And and if he if he's barely cognizant, if his brain has deteriorated that much, is she doing him a favor anyway? Yeah, but she could be lying. Okay, so here's the thing. All that we have that proves that David exists is this picture, which doesn't give us a date, which is blurry and out of focus. Is that her, which, like, shadow in the background there? It's it's hard to tell. Um, it looks like it. On the right or on the left? On the right. Yeah, it's, there's somebody on the left, too. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, I noticed that. Maybe it's the girl. Ooh. She's a couple of weeks ago. 
Oh, is it? Oh, yes. yes. Here. Pay attention. My brain is not working tonight. I'm sorry. From a few weeks ago. As you can see, Doctor, he looks perfectly normal. Or it could be from several years ago. We only have huh. a overload. All right, so before we continue with starting to think what, There's let's no go lake back house to... today, sorry. Yeah, we were supposed to go to the lake house. David hasn't been well. Otherwise, I'd taken you. Shall I bring him to you next time? Yes. Yes, please bring David next time. You seem muddled, Doctor. Just ask if... what? Next time, then. Although it will have to be just you here, and late at night. I can't have anyone else see him. Don't worry, I think I'm about to counsel you to kill him, so whatever. <laughs> no, let's not kill him. <laughs> if he's alive, then... Well... If he's alive and all he's doing is killing and skinning animals, that's... Unless she, like, cool. has his urn of ashes or whatever, and uh, has to kill us. Alright, I'm gonna tell her to kill him. Oh my, okay, whatever you say. What's what's our other option? No, don't kill him and maybe he kills a girl and that's on our conscience? I mean, there's kind of no good option here. We're either going she crazy kills somebody anyway, who cares if he kills <laughs> oh my God, a Either she kills that. somebody who's already dead or the dead person kills a girl and she gets blamed for it. Yes, I think you should kill David. Which is a weird sentence to type. I'm not gonna lie. David again. Thank you so much. But you're right. It's time. He's becoming a danger to people around him, not just himself. Danger? I don't know. Danger to people around him? Are you even listening to me? Fucking God. Jesus Christ, motherfucking. All right, so let's ask about Tamazepam. I've never used sleeping pills. I'm too afraid of what would happen to me in my sleep. Um, uh, what? Sever? <laughs> Did you sever his neck? Crazy bit. You sound confused. What exactly do you want to ask? Did that no, fine. Alcohol. You seem muddled. Oh my god. Drink. Decker. Alcohol. You sound confused. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Decker. Oh. Oh, right. She was supposed to talk to Iris. Did you talk to Iris? I never talked to Bryce, but I did what talk about? to Iris. Oh, okay. She didn't want to at first. She blames me for David's death. But as we both know, that's not a thing. I, anyway, she said be. she was never locked up in any basement and had never heard of any Dr. Decker. So huh. it's, as I first suspected, a lie. You didn't make all of that up, so I talked to Iris again, did you? That gets her to orange. Jesus Christ. Iris denies being in the basement. How extraordinary. So the girl in the basement was somebody that Claire knows, and she's adamant that I didn't rescue her. Yep. Hmm. I really wish I'd taken photos now. <laughs> I get to the green. green oh, fuck. Fucking hell. She's orange. Alcoholic Decker. Stop taking confused. pills. Ah! <laughs> Was Dr. Decker an alco? You can eventually. Just... You seem muddled, Doc. Oh my god. Alcoholic. Just... I'm sorry, Kayla. Dr. Kayla. Decker was an alcoholic. Thank he hid it well. That. My cat is freaking out that I'm drink. getting angry. He certainly never offered me a drink. God knows I could have used one. Can't we all? Well, the good news is I wasted so much time asking that question, the next hint is already up. 
Uh, she asked me if I made up the story about Bryce and Iris. No, I did not make up the story about Iris. Then Mr. Bryce seems to have a few more issues than me. Perhaps you which, should ask him about that. Which is saying something because you killed your husband and brought him back to life. There's no lake house today, sorry. David's not doing very well. He's caused the problem with the girl. I need to do something. Need to do something. Did we ask him about the problem? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me, how should I distract myself, Doctor? What? How the fuck am I going to know how you distract yourself? Take up fishing. I can stop your you from reanimating people. That's an interesting idea, Doctor. There's not really something that needs to be done, though. I have no intention of reanimating anybody. She can just reanimate the girl anyway. It hasn't gone very well in the past. <laughs> Unless she gets skinned. Well, it... <laughs> we can just buy her new skin, that's all right. I don't want anybody else. I reanimated my cheating husband so we could be together. And now you're going Isn't to kill him. Isn't that a big enough sign? I mean... You could take up fishing, take up hunting, sorry. Distract yourself with the girl sounds really sus. Sorry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Dr. Decker was very quiet in our sessions after seeing David. After a while, uh -huh. he started talking about David like he was a pet. Asking me what I fed him, what he'd do in certain conditions. Hmm. Pet? I think he was fascinated with it all, and David and I had become new test subjects for him. When I said David never listens to me, he urged me to start giving David treats for pleasing me. Not in that way, but <laughs> showing him how to close a door, for example. If he did it, give him a treat. It did actually work, but I had to stop myself. I felt like I was training a monkey. It just wasn't right. Hmm. Monkey? Sorry, I don't... Also, did we ask her about the referral letter? My solicitors did refer me, but I ended up going privately as it was cheaper. I'm paying them enough already without them getting a percentage of my therapy bill. <laughs> okay, good to know. Can you train David not to kill? David doesn't listen to me. I can't say something and he does it. And besides, how would I show him not to kill a little girl? Slap him on the nose? It's too late for David. Dun, dun, dun! Hmm. So I think she's going to kill him one way or another. <coughs> Can you distract yourself with a job? Asking random a questions? Yes. I'll find a myself a nice little job packing bags in a grocery store, answering the telephone of the solicitors. I'll put on the uniform and smile at the customers and talk about the weather, and everything will be wonderful and sunny and bright. That's kind of the point of the job. Next. How about you work on your comedy routine, which centers on sarcasm, where you put on a fake smile and pretend that everything is okay as you constantly talk down to the person that's trying to help you, you stuck-up fucking bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Why is it time... That's not relevant. ...to kill David? You amuse me, Doctor. Here we are in our fourth session, and you're telling me to commit murder? It took Dr. Decker Double a murder. lot longer than that. Mm -hmm. oh, Decker well, we told you to kill David? Is there a follow-up? Damn it. Huh. What certain conditions? Dr. Decker asked me if I'd ever accidentally locked David in. 
which I hadn't, but curiosity got the better of me, so I locked him in the lake house. He couldn't get out. He didn't have the wherewithal to operate the lock. Hmm. Damn it. I have a hobby. I come here. See, every the week sessions and are every you. week. Okay. Well, I feel like we just counseled somebody to murder, which might be abusing our psychiatric yeah, every privileges week, here. But, but he said he'd known about it for weeks, and he's already been there for three. Huh. Well, anyway, next time on Character Select, it's our favorite Angel of Death. She's still got a smile. Well, there it goes. Never mind. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it in space. I don't know if we're doing anything good here. I don't think so anymore, anyway. <laughs> Maybe we're the ones that need to be pursued by our conscience. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>